Hi folks, welcome to uh, Psych 300 Health Psychology. I wanted to take a bit of time to <laughs> show you how to navigate through our Blackboard course. So I started here at the course announcements and of course this is where I'll be posting uh, a weekly overview of what we'll be doing in the course as well as any updates or changes that will be made to the course, but hopefully we won't have too many changes. The first place, of course, I encourage you to go is to this Getting Started area. And here you will have some videos, including this one, related to course orientation. And so I am, of course, working on this video right here, but I also encourage you to uh, go through this syllabus review video. It hits the high points of the syllabus and information that will be helpful for you to be more successful in the course. And then I also have briefer videos for the discussion board, the blog, and the wiki. I recognize that many of you, perhaps all of you, have taken online courses before. And so you may know these aspects of the Blackboard course. But if you're new or you haven't done one of these types of tasks, certainly take a few minutes and review these optional videos down here. All right, now I've gone back to this Getting Started page. You also have the syllabus. And then I've encouraged you, although it's not required, to introduce yourselves. And to do that, you would just click blog entry and give a little bit of a summary about who you are. And you can see the summary uh, for myself is right here. And if you want to read what other people have written, you can always click on the other blogs that are right here. And then the final thing in this getting started area is this folder that I am building right now. And these are the expectations for the different types of assignments. So far what I have in here are the expectations for discussion boards and blogs. But I'll put details for the um, project as and the wiki presentation as well. Now once you have oriented yourself in this getting started area, the next places that I think you'll want to go are to the syllabus and project information area and the learning materials area. This is where I'll have all of the materials for each of our five weeks. Now this syllabus link is a repeat of what you saw on the getting started area. And on the project information, this is for the biopsychosocial analysis. And what I've provided in here so far are the particular topics. So these are the topics that I have generated. You are welcome to come up with your own topic if you prefer, keeping in mind that the topic does need to include at least two of the three components, uh, biology or physiology, psychology, and social or cultural influences. So you need to choose one of those, bio, psycho, or social. You need to have at least two of those in your project topic. Now, if you, you should decide to do one of the topics that I have provided, I have also included within this folder uh, various links to scholarly research articles, and I'm still building it. But again, you do not have to use a topic that I've provided, and you also are not required to use these recommended sources. It's just that given we did, that we only have five weeks, I went ahead and did some legwork and came up with sources that I thought would be relevant just so that you could spend your time doing the research rather than just finding it. What I'll be doing in the next few days is also coming up with a sample for the annotated bibliography and then at least a sample outline for the final paper. I'm not going to write a whole paper, but I will at least provide you with a sample so you have some ideas of what's expected of you for the paper. And I'll also provide a sample wiki. So I'm still building that out. Now the other area that you'll want to use your attention is on the learning materials. The course is organized by module, so each week we'll have one module. And on the cover here, I do have the learning objectives for that week. And I will create week-specific orientation videos um, each Sunday night. So today, this will just be a general overview of what you'll be able to find within each folder. The first thing you will see are the reading guide or the notes that I took on the reading. So these are fairly detailed. I certainly do encourage you to go over the reading, but these notes are also pretty doggone informative. In addition to the textbook assignment, you will also have one or more readings that are relevant to that week's discussion board. So every week we'll have a discussion board topic and typically I will provide more than enough readings so you aren't necessarily expected to go over and read through every single one of these readings, but I will often say to read the resource that goes with your particular subtopic or read enough of these so that you feel you can post in an informed way. But absolutely, I do not expect you to read over every single one of these additional readings that I provide. Now we do have a discussion board topic every week. And the way that it will typically work is that the discussion board assignment will list 
a host of topics and each one of you will reserve one of those topics. So again, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the week here, but just to show you when you click on the discussion board forum, there are instructions. And I brought up the instructions here as a sample. Each week it will typically be a case that you have to respond to in some way and I've provided some questions and in week one at least you actually won't reserve your topic but in many weeks you'll be encouraged to reserve a subtopic that you will be the expert in so each one of you will be an expert or pseudo expert on one of the subtopics. The general expectation then for each weekly discussion is that you will post by Thursday evening at 8 p.m. and then you will have two responses made by the following Monday morning at 8 a.m. So you essentially have a week and a, and a couple more hours to be engaged with the discussion board. Then each week we will also have a topic related to the application to practice blog. So even though every week I'll be providing you with a sample topic, you are also welcome to go um, and post away from that topic. You don't have to follow the prompt as long as your blog post is related to the material that we're talking about that week. Um, I will also add that even though each week will have a blog option, you're only expected to compose a blog entry for two of the five weeks. You will respond to a post within each of the five weeks but your actual large, thoughtful post, you only need to do two of those during the course. Now, for the blogs, you are expected to apply the course information to your professional or personal experiences in healthcare because it's application to practice. So you, each blog entry should make explicit reference to something within the course, course concepts from the reading or course concepts from one of the additional assigned um, optional readings, as well as explicit reference to something related to your experience in healthcare. All right, so we've gone over the discussion board, the blog, and then the third thing that you will have each week is a quiz. So these quizzes are 30 multiple choice questions. You have an hour. They will be completed with open book, open note, and you're welcome to use the internet if you want, but keep in mind that the internet is of mixed accuracy. And the average of your two attempts will be recorded. And you're certainly welcome to only take it once if that's all you would like to do. Definitely once you complete it though, check out the feedback because I have written in there at least some guidance on where you can go to find the correct answer should you have gotten it wrong. And then in addition to having discussion board, blog, quiz, there's usually something related to that biopsychosocial uh, project. And in the first week, your goal really is to solely select a topic. At this point, that's all I really had to say about the Blackboard course. I'm imagining that um, you have probably worked in an online course format before, but if you haven't, definitely reach out to me. Call, email, text, whatever works best for you. Please do reach out to me and I can offer you some additional guidance. As questions come up in this course, though, I do encourage you to post them within this discussion board option. I have created a course information forum. Let me just move it up to the top. Um, and in here, you can post anonymously if you like, but you can post about any questions you have related to the course. And I encourage you to answer each other's questions if you can, but I'll certainly check in a few times each week to answer questions as they come up. Thanks for your attention, and I do look forward to working with you. Bye-bye.